My name is Raymond Yoon. I go by Ray. My name is Abby Bach. My name is Connor Dolan. I'm Ella Mercer. My name is Ryan Wharton. Ashley West. My favorite memory has got to be winning state as a junior um, for water polo. Uh, yeah, we went undefeated. We went 15 0, and uh, we won water polo state for varsity. My best memory of high school probably um, prom when Alex Wester was singing Mr. Brightside on the stage. Um, everyone got really into it. We were having lots of fun just dancing and singing. Best memory? Um, I would say the um, winter concert that the choir program does every year. Um, it'd be this most recent one, so my senior year. Um, we had a bunch of uh, jazz songs, jazz winter songs, and just performing those in front of a big audience after COVID because we didn't do a winter concert last year. I'd say it would be one of the best moments. Mr. Longhorn was really fun for me because like, I was one of the MCs mm -hmm. and um, it was like a lot of preparation and it was really hard to work with all the boys and get them to <laughs> to work together and like actually put on like an actual show. So, um, and like the actual event went really well and it was a lot of fun to watch like all my friends like doing something that's like out of their comfort zone. Uh, probably all the pep rallies that we've had I know quite a few got canceled because of COVID, but just like the atmosphere in the gym when it's like it's rocking and everything's loud and all the sports are running out, like it's just, it's really fun. Going to football games and also like because I played field hockey, like the bus rides to and from the games were just so much fun. We played music and we braided each other's hair. So what advice I give to the underclassmen would just be to like make sure you try to do everything you can freshman year to have like like sports and clubs and things like that because freshman year that's when you really get involved and um, you'll stay involved throughout instead of joining a player and I feel like that's really important. Uh, manage your time wisely and play around with your schedule a lot. Um, you're going to try things that don't work and then eventually you're going to find things that do work that benefit you the most so yeah when it comes to studying for tests you got to have a plan uh, you have to figure out everything that's going on in your life and you have to plan studying around it because a lot of the times like what I did was I just waited for everything to be over and then study and I found out that I had no time to study at all so I'd say like make a plan for how you're going to study just organize what you're going to do day by day or week by week so that you're just like always ready for what's about to come up. The advice I would give to underclassmen would be to just enjoy every moment of your high school experience because I feel like everyone always says like, like high school goes by so fast, like appreciate it. But like when you hear that like you're, and you're a freshman, like you don't actually realize like how fast it actually goes by. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like, I have a week left of high school and like I feel like I'm still a sophomore. Like I, it, went by so fast and just enjoy every moment, get involved, go to events, even if you don't think you're going to enjoy them, um, be nice to people, have fun, and just enjoy every single moment of it. Enjoy the memories now because you're going to miss it later. And it's, as a senior, knowing that I don't have any more pep rallies, I don't have any more homecomings, I don't have any more, I don't really have any more sports events, it's, it's important to enjoy it now because you'll miss it later. Make sure that you don't sacrifice your own happiness. Um, if you don't want to do something, don't be afraid. And also don't be afraid to try new things because you might wind up loving it and it would be the best four years of your life. Graduating, um, my parents are trying to make me move on towards college things right now, but with finals and AP tests, I'm kind of like in this limbo stage of like, I kind of want to get out of high school, but I have no idea how I'm going to um, like just survive college in general, because I mean, I'm going to Iowa, it's just a place I've never been to before. Uh, so I feel I got mixed feelings right now. Really bittersweet, you know, because I'm really happy to be graduating and finally moving on. I'm excited about college, but um, I know I'm gonna like miss high school a lot, and you know, it's 
It's a lot of things I'm going to miss. I'm kind of sad, but I'm excited to start like a new chapter of my life. Um, I'm ready to like go to college and meet new people. I think, and I don't know. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna miss like all the teachers and like having classes every day, like being able to be around all my friends every day. I think graduating for me is a very bittersweet thing. I think it's like I'm really excited for the new chapters to come in my life, obviously, and I think graduating is like. It's a really big step in your life, I feel like, because you're going kind of from being like still a kid to like actually transitioning to being like on your own and like an adult and stuff. And I feel like graduation is like the thing that I've like seen in movies and all that stuff since I've been little. And now it's like so weird that I'm like actually the one graduating. Like I remember watching my cousins graduate when I was younger and I was like, wow, like they're so old now. I'm like, that's me. It's like, it's really surreal. Um, I'm excited, but I'm also like sad to leave behind all my friends and my family and stuff, so bittersweet for sure. I'm a little nervous as to what comes next, but I think that comes just with time. Uh, I'm excited, excited. I think the next chapter of life is going to bring a lot of good, but I'm, I mean, I'm sad to leave this place. I'm nervous, but excited. What well, I miss the most? Um, I think I would definitely miss um, my friends because a lot of them are going to different colleges. Um, but someone that I would miss a lot is uh, Mr. Parrish. He's the choir director. And uh, since he's the choir director, he's also leaving this year. So. Definitely the people. Um, I mean, I've made so many friends here and then teammates that I've made like brothers to them. Um, you know, school spirits, something that's huge at Park Midwest and then you know, that involves the people. So. I'll miss my friends the most. Um, I've like bonded with such a great group of people this year, I think, and I know this will be sad to like, see everyone go to different places, different schools. I'll miss being able to hang out with my friends in the library before school. I'd say a lot of the teachers. Just teachers are so personable here. And if you find the right ones, you can really build connections and hold those connections for all four years. And so I don't know what college professors are going to be like, but I'm just, I'm really going to miss the teachers. Definitely my friends. Um, and just like, I feel like just being like together, like, I don't know, you like in high school, you're like, you see your friends every single day. And like, you don't realize that until like you're thousands of miles apart from like some of the people that you've been with like every day for the past. I mean, for some of us, like seven years of our lives. All of the typical high school things, like I'm going to miss like, getting ready for homecoming and all that stuff, football games, the typical high school stuff, it's going to be sad to leave behind.